Hello everyone, welcome. So today what we're gonna do is kind of like a phase and fails over the last couple months uh, that I've had. Um, even though my table's a mess, we're gonna get this done. Now, I know everybody likes my other earrings, but I went and found some silver hoops to put on. I won't be able to wear them very long because I have really sensitive allergic ears. I'll only be able to wear these a couple of hours and then I'll have to pull them out because what happens is my ears get infected. So, um, yeah, but I thought I'd put on some silver hoops, change it up a little bit, you know, put on a nice denim jacket. So, you might want to grab a cup of coffee and or tea or whatever it is you drink because this might end up being a long video. Sorry, I feel a little chatty today. <laughs> so, um, if you like this kind of video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. Um, also, uh, make sure you subscribe, click your bell, share it if you like it. So, yeah, the thumbs up really helps. So let's get at this because this lab will be a long one. First off, uh, and this is going to be over products the last couple of months. I haven't bought a whole lot, but I thought I'd just put it all in one thing. Uh, now the Boots Number no. 7, if you remember, I bought the Boots Number no. 7 uh, Lift and Illuminate Foundation and that uh, translucent setting powder. I don't know what happened to it. I moved into another room and it's disappeared. That's okay. I didn't like it anyway. <laughs> it was way too glowy. It may have been translucent and it felt beautiful on the skin, but it, it, did, it was glowy. I mean, shine off the top of every pore and wrinkle and made my skin look more textured and uh, no. Oh, thank you. So, uh, yeah, this here, I'm going to have to put it in the fail for me. Now, somebody else might like this, but for me, it's a fail because, well, I want I want eight hours at least out of my foundations. And if you're going to pay over $16 for a foundation, it better stick around for more than three hours. Because that's what this did on it. Broke up. Now, the thing of it is, is this is my absolute perfect shade, which rarely happens in drugstore. I just wish I could get, there's another one, Boots number no. 7. That I'm gonna try um, it's for normal to oily that I thought I'd give a try on to see if there's longer coverage and typically matte foundations stick around anyway longer Thought I'd give that a try and uh, see how that lasts because this is just it's too dewy too glowy for me so yeah and it's hard to deal with so but I'll link that video here or here what I thought about the powders course I already told you okay so next thing is uh, the LA girl pro coverage um, high definition illuminating foundation in the white now I have a hard time if I get something I like to get my foundations a little dark uh, or I have a tendency to do that now with this here and a little bit I mean all it takes is a drop I mean a half a drop of this thing and you will lighten a foundation like you wouldn't believe so I like this it has so far it's mixed really good with all my foundations um, you know I haven't had an issue with that so if you're like me and you have a tendency to get foundations that are too dark or if you have a foundation that works in the summertime while you're really tan but you're one that gets really light in the winter time you might want to think about this uh, and then I also got the LA girl shady slim brow pencil the only reason why this is a fail for me is because it's the wrong color now we all know I am the L'Oreal brow precise uh, eyebrow pencil now that LA girl one it's a mini pencil just like um, the L'Oreal, it's got a little spoolie on the back of it. Let's see if I can do this. The top one is the LA Girl. The bottom one is the uh, L'Oreal. It, it's a little too reddish for me. I don't know if you can see that or if the lights are blowing it out or anything like that. So, 
But yeah, that's the only reason why it's a fail for me is because it's the wrong color. Okay, so I got that one done. Now we all know I love my uh, L'Oreal Lash Paradise. So I need to get another one, so I got the Mystic Black. Well, I thought, what is going on here? Because it almost seemed like a different formula, like it was more clumpy and things like that. So I went and bought another one of my old color, uh, which is Black is Black. And it is different. The formula is different. This here does not clump and it's more lengthening than what this is. This is just clumpy. You know, I like it, I can work with it, but I want my other one back. So there's that. And then let's see here. Of course, I just did the review on these two Wet n Wild palettes. I'll link that here as well, or here, or wherever it goes. And what I think of those, I think they're both, the peach one is a fave for me. Now, this is a good eyeshadow palette. It's just not, the colors aren't in my wheelhouse. They're just too dark, too intense, you know. I could see where this could be somebody else's fave. And let's see here, what else we got? Oh, also in that LA Girls, I got this. Uh, blush bronzer highlighter I'm gonna put this in the fail because the only one I use is this here and you have to use it very carefully because it doesn't like to blend I don't like the highlighter I don't like the bronzer bronzer is wrong color for me this blush is the wrong color the bronzer doesn't it, it's sticky so yeah there's that now, I also did on this Ion Absolute Perfection Booster Step 1 and the Step 2 Absolute Fave. Permanent part. You know how when you do your hair, uh, you do something like this. Usually, first time you go to wash it out, all the benefits, it feels like they're gone. Not with this. My hair has not felt this healthy for years. I mean, it holds a curl better. Granted, like, it, it, it's not much today, but, you know, it does hold a curl better. Um, that will be, it, it hasn't weighed down my hair. Um, I really, really like it. So, uh, let's see here, what else? I think that's about it. If you're wondering what's on my lips today, it's the Rimmel Pencil Lasting Finish in Tiramisu and the Elf. Uh, lip lacquer in natural. I put the pencil all over my entire lips and then put this on top of it. So, um, yeah. Of course, we all know that the Milani and the Elf are my two favorite foundations. So, um, oh, uh, the Milani Stay Put Eyeliner Pencil. I'm grabbing this thing all the time. All the time. I love this thing. So, Thank you for watching. Have some happy holidays and talk to you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>